Welcome, this is the uh, Algebra 1 and of course practice test 2. The question says, what is the length of the segment whose endpoints are 8, negative 6, and negative 4 and 2? Now when they see the, say the word length here, uh, that's pretty much the equivalent to distance. So what they want you to use here is the distance formula. So I'm going to try my best to click this, pa this paper up to where it is on the formulas page, and there it is. So I'm going to use the distance formula. So you can think in your head that distance and length are relatively interchangeable. So this could also be the length formula. So I'm going to write it down somewhere down here to see if I can get it to uh, match up when I go back to the problem. x of 2 minus x of 1 squared plus y of 2 minus y of 1 squared. And that whole thing, of course, is under the square root. Basically, it's just a rewriting of the Pythagorean theorem. x of 2 minus x of 1 shows you like how long a side is, y of 2 minus y of 1 is b, and the last component of any Pythagorean theorem question is that you need to take the square root. So it's just rewriting it essentially. I'm going to try to get back to the problem now. So there we are. So that's the formula. Now the reality is um, the x of 2 where you have that little number on the bottom, that doesn't mean anything other than a label. If I have x squared, that's something. So 4 squared is 16. On the bottom, like this, this would just mean that it's the second number 4 that I've actually written. So anytime you see subscript, which is what that's called, it's just a label. So I'm going to mark up my uh, coordinate points up here, x, y, x, y. This is the second time I wrote those, number, uh, those variables. That's the first time. So now I have all the components that I need to get the answer right. So my x of 2, and I'm going to rewrite it up here to give myself some room. Uh, my x of 2, so up here, would be negative 4. And that is subtract. Um, negative 6, so minus negative 6, that's squared. My, I actually did y's for, I mixed my x's and y's there, sorry about that. I'm losing my mind. So my x of 2 is negative 4, my x of 1 is 8. I don't know what I was thinking. So square, and then add y of 2, which is 2, minus y of 1, which is negative 6, squared. So let me erase this bottom part, and then we'll just work it out from there. There will be a little simplest radical form going on, but nothing too serious. Now, if I do negative 4 minus 8, that's negative 12. And you, of course, can type all this in as one big equation into your calculator. The problem is, sometimes it's really hard. You mix things up, or you make dots, or whatever, and it's a big issue. So I do 2 minus negative 6, so I get 8 squared. Uh, negative 12 squared, which, by the way, if you put in your calculator like this, is one thing. If you put it in like this, it's something totally different, so make sure you have those parentheses. Um, so negative 12 squared would be 144, plus 8 squared, which is 64. Now all I need to do is combine 144 and 64 together, and I get the square, ro square root of 208. The beautiful thing about this is now that you got to that point, you really don't have to do uh, simplest radical form just because of the fact that it's already uh, the answer choices are given to you. So what we're going to do, clear this out first. I'm going to bring my calculator up. That's why I was talking about it and you couldn't see it. That didn't make any sense. So let me erase this mess out just a little bit. And I'm left with my square root of 208 there. So what I'm going to do is type in the square root of 208. So I go to square root, 208, hit enter. I'm going to look for this same answer. So I'll try the first one. Four square root 13 and there it is it matches exactly so my answer to this one is going to be a and you could try the other ones and they won't match out but how did they get four times the square root of 13 in order to get to that question we need to look at the square root of 208 when we do simplest radical form um, we're going to find squares that are sort of factors of that number. So I'm going to divide by the squares. And when I say squares, I mean 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 would be a square number. So I'm going to divide. I tend to go to numbers that are closer to it than further away. So if I did, um, let's say, uh, 144. So I did 208 divided by 144. That doesn't work. And then I'll pop up the calculator. I don't know why I took it down to make this point. So if I'm working with a calculator and I do 208 divided by 100. See how it gives me a decimal answer? That means it's not a factor. So you can just work your way down through them. 81 doesn't work. 64 
not even a little bit. But since the answers all start with 4, I'm going to say that 4 times 4 is 16, so I'll divide 208 by 16. And there you go. You can see that 208 divided by 16 is 13. What that means is 13 times 16 gives you 208. So I can just rewrite that 208 as the square root of 16 times 13. And I know the square root of 16 is 4. So that comes out. The 13 stays underneath. So the answer to the question is A. So basically, once you get to the answer choices, you can just type things in and get an answer. But if you want to go the full uh, nine yards there, you're ready to roll in terms of the simplest radical form. So good luck.